Hi everyone, I, I thought I'd try out some, some voiceovers for my, my future matches uh, so that I can share some of my thoughts and, uh, and ideas throughout the match that, that you're watching. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if, if you want me to keep doing it or uh, maybe you just want me to, <laughs> to shut up. So uh, this match is the quarterfinals of the $15,000 Futures Tournament. Uh, it's played in, in Stockholm, Sweden in, uh, at Good to Great Academy. I must say it's probably one of like, the nicest uh, tennis uh, facilities around and uh yeah if you have time you should check it out i mean it's really really beautiful i mean it's very high standard so for uh for those who might not be aware you know there's uh three levels on the tennis circuit there's atp challengers and then there's uh, futures so the only difference between the three is that it's uh it's simply more or less like atp points and more or less money awarded uh throughout the tournament uh they're all the same points that contribute to the atp rankings and, uh, and it's all the same kind of money that you can uh, purchase you know your favorite lamborghini or, or rolex or yeah whatever <laughs> so <laughs> so uh yeah my opponent here is, uh, is none other than uh, Martin Müller from germany uh when this match is being recorded uh, i think he currently sits on like an atp ranking of uh, 490 in the world and uh, i think he's been as high as like 370 earlier uh this year so as you might have noticed from the first couple points in the match uh he's a very good mover and, and very solid ball striker that, that looks to move around and, and hurts you with his hairy forehand uh, he has a lot of spin but also a lot of like, like really good weight on it so it's it's tough to play against as he seems extremely safe when he hits it and uh as it's like you know good height over the net and good, good marginal but still moves it around so much that, that you feel like you're always under pressure from it Ouch. Uh, yeah, I managed to get a very good start off against him. I, I broke him like straight away in the first game, and then I was kind of on like cruise control to four-one double break up in the the first set. And then maybe you know I let up a bit. Uh, well, he probably upped this game a little bit, and and before I knew it, you know the match the match was level, and then we were back to to four all.
But uh, from there, I, I managed to have a really, really solid return game. Finishing it off with a yeah, huge passing shot and a little roar uh, that should should be shown somewhere here uh, throughout the highlights. Yeah, then I had a good service game and I snuck out the first set, 6-4.
For uh, for the second set, I, I managed to break straight away again. Uh, being obviously like the guy of his, his uh, level and caliber, like he's not gonna give up, get up that easy. And uh, yeah, I kept fighting back.
and uh, yeah, before I knew it, I, I found myself down three five, and him uh, him serving for it in the second, and uh, there I actually managed to save uh, three set points and uh, and break back to, to four five. And 4-5, uh, I was looking back at the match, I, I think it was really big that I committed to be more aggressive and I started following up some more shots uh, to the net. It really helped me uh, get a bit more you know, aggressive on the ball and, and hopefully made him a little more stressed as it seems like uh, you know, he got a lot more comfortable throughout the whole beginning of the second set. And uh, from there, we just held serve and then forced the tiebreaker to, uh, to decide it.
So in the tiebreaker, um, I'm going to show every pointer, I think, so I guess you'll see it. But, but one of the main things I was very happy with myself, uh, especially after the match, was the fact that I I uh, just kept sticking with being aggressive and, and trying to force uh, force him to come up with some good passing shots and whatnot. Like I kept coming to the net and trying to stress him out a little bit. And I managed to get some good good points here and there and uh, yeah got the job done so yeah I mean overall I'm very very uh, I'm very happy with the match especially the way I managed to bounce back in in both uh, both sets after I'm it might have seemed like uh, the air went out of me a little bit you know Miller is uh, is an extremely uh, solid and professional player overall I mean, he never complains. He keeps his head down and just just keeps doing the stuff that he's he's supposed to do out there. So I mean, really, all props to him. And uh, overall, a really nice guy that I'm confident will be will keep making some uh, some good moves in the right direction on the ATP rankings. So I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this little match recap. And uh, let me know if you have any any tips for my future matches or videos. Uh, any questions or or maybe you just want to say hi. Uh, just comment below and I'll get back to you guys ASAP. Um, so until then, uh, take care, uh, have fun, and uh, keep doing your thing.